Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 25th of June. Starting off with Afritin Mining, and uh, we've had a, a break or a gap through the uh, resistance line from January around the uh, 2.25 pence level. Above that, uh, looking for a follow on move towards the top of a, the rising uh, November trend channel that I've drawn as high as 4 pence. End of day close today and end of week close uh, at the end of the week or tomorrow rather should be enough to uh, inspire confidence that the four pence area could be hit uh, with a stop loss back below two and a quarter for the bulls involved in that particular situation. Chesterfield is next and uh, here the point of interest I suppose is just the way that we had a golden cross between the 50 and 200 day moving averages yesterday. Uh, if we get an end of day close back above the initial June peak uh, at six pence, uh, the upside here could be up towards the top of a rising trend channel from March at nine pence plus. Stop loss at this stage uh, back below the floor of the channel and the 20 day moving average at 4.3 pence. Uh, new stock for the Bulletin Board Heroes today is uh, in the form of Driver Group. Uh, here you can see that uh, just breaking this uh, line of resistance from December and uh, have also already broken above the uh, 200 day moving average and the initial June resistance of 55 pence. The view at this stage is that while we hold above 55, looking for a best case scenario target here at the top of the rising December trend channel at uh, 100 pence over the next two to three months. Stop loss back below a combination of the 50 day moving average and the price channel floor from uh, the turn of the year at 50 pence. Stock that probably wouldn't have made the grade normally on a busy day, but has made the grade now is uh, IDE Group. Here we've seen the shares gap through the uh, December resistance line around the 2.7 pence level. Nice uh, sideways flag uh, for the stock, which is normally a very good sign. And uh, as little as an end of day close above the 200 day moving average at 3.4 pence uh, should be enough to inspire confidence that the shares could hit the top of a rising uh, trend channel from October towards 6 and 3 quarter pence. Uh, over the next uh, six weeks to two months in terms of the time frame. Uh, onto a stock which was uh, mentioned in passing yesterday um, uh, in a little discussion I had with some people, uh, Iron Ridge Resources. Uh, nice uh, move here in terms of the gap through the 50-day uh, moving average, normally a buy signal in itself. Uh, that completes an island bear trap island reversal for the shares uh, versus the uh, May uh, brief May bear trap that there was. And the view at this stage is that while we're above the 50-day line, looking for a top of January broadening triangle here as high as 15 pence uh, for the stock. If you're cautious on it, maybe wait for an end-of-day close above the 200-day line at 10.92 pence. On to uh, Mida Tech Pharma, which is uh, rather underperformed compared to some of its uh, uh, small-cap um, pharma peers. Still waiting for an end of day close here back above 23 pence, which is that line of resistance from May. If we can get that, then perhaps uh, the upper 20s, low 30s could be the target here. Uh, the big plus point here, really, the uh, bullish divergence in the RSI window after the lower price low, but that wasn't matched by a lower RSI trade. So that is a leading uh, signal in terms of the buy argument. But as I said, you can wait on an end of day close above 23 pence if you are not yet conv convinced of the uh, merits of that situation. On to uh, Pembridge uh, Resources, which has one been a reasonable uh, prospect this week uh, after the break of the uh, trend line from March. Uh, decent progress uh, for the stock. A uh, trend line was broken around the, uh, what's that, 3.2 uh, pence level. And while we're above that, looking for a best case scenario target here as high as 7 pence. Gap to fill up towards five and a half pence, maybe as an initial target at seven pence, uh, the area to shoot for. Uh, the other point, I suppose, is that we would uh, like to see the shares remain above that neckline resistance, 3.8 pence, as they head higher. So uh, that became the support today, uh, which is quite handy, and uh, we'd like to see that continue over the near term. A request uh, uh, is the next stock here, Premier uh, Foods, which has had a great run. Uh, over the last uh, uh, two or three months. Uh, this is a request for one of the uh, um, uh, the leading Twitterati, let's put it that way, and leading investors, uh, uh, private investors on it, on uh, uh, Twitter as well. So uh, let's see how we go with this one. Uh, the top of the rising trend channel from uh, the end of January is heading towards a pound. And at this stage, uh, that target's valid, especially while we hold above 
uh, the uh, mid 50s. Ideally, the shares don't even go back below uh, yesterday's uh, intraday support towards the 60 pence level. But the uh, floor of the channel there running through uh, 53, 54 pence, and uh, a while above that, looking for up to a pound. Uh, the big plus point, I suppose, going back was uh, the way that uh, the shares gapped through the 200-day moving average as if it wasn't there in the middle of uh, April and uh, never required uh, even a retest. Plus, the consolidations are sideways to up, which is uh, also uh, a very strong uh, example of price action. Uh, going on to uh, just a couple more. Uh, here we've got a stock uh, that's uh, been featured here recently, but... Uh, uh, now we're back near the highs, touchdown expiration, uh, good dance of, of over the last week or two at and uh, just below the 20-day moving average at 50 pence. Uh, while we remain above 50 pence, looking for um, a best-case scenario target over the next month uh, or six weeks to the top of a rising August trend channel at 80 pence. Uh, this stage only really back below um, uh, the 45 pence level really hurting. Uh, the idea of further gains for this situation. Uh, finishing off with a stock which I know a lot of people are following at the moment and probably scratching their heads in terms of uh, where the share price is. Uh, but we've got Tiziana coming up with a decent uh, key reversal uh, move higher today uh, through uh, yesterday's high so far and a very solid green candle opened at the low and has moved higher ever since, which is uh, uh, always encouraging. Uh, as long as we remain above uh, the 97 pence uh, level, uh, which is the 20-day line on an end-of-day close basis, still looking for uh, the top of a rising March trend channel at £1.40. Uh, this stage only back below the March trend channel at 90 pence uh, really uh, casts the uh, ongoing break higher into doubt. Remember that the shares did actually serve a golden cross way back in early May. Uh, a buy signal between the 50 and 200 day moving averages. So I suppose in that way, the uh, upside here has been foretold successfully. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.